Linney. Now listen, <laughs> you know who Laura Linney is? Yeah. An actress, right? She was in um, uh, The Truman Show and Mystic River, Academy Award nominated. So, yeah. so now, and John Adams, thank you. Any other film credits of Laura Linney's that we'd like to shout out? <laughs> Her, her publicist is here or something. Uh, so now you guys remember how this works when we do one of these poems, right? I supply the first line and then most of the second, and then you show me that you're paying attention by filling in the rhyme that should follow, okay? So that's that's your role. I Trust me, this is going to be a tough one. This one is going to be a hard one. It's not going to be as easy as they have been before. So with that, now... We started this tradition when we welcomed Josh McDowell. And it was nothing about trying to rhyme his name that made me throw in the... How? Excellent. <laughs> Next was even easier when we were graced with Margaret Becker. I didn't need a thesaurus, a dictionary, or even a spell. Becker! And now today, if our honored guest went by the more common first name of Jenny, then there would be no problem because of rhymes there would be Jenny. And if, if by chance or by a quirk of fate her last name had been Owen, there would be no problem, nay, no problem at all, to get my creative juices Owen. I will accept going. I was looking for flowing. Uh, but it's Ginny with an I and Owens with an S, which makes the number of possible rhymes considerably less. Yes. And so last night, as I was laying in bed waiting for inspiration for my poem, I fell asleep and had a dream of three people, though at first I didn't know them. But then at last, I came to see, I dreamt of Laura Linney. Got it? Linney. She was sitting on a couch with Marlon Brando and Albert Binney. And they were watching Joe Pesci in a movie called My Cousin Binney. Suddenly, they rose with a start and ran to a waiting car. Not a full-sized Cooper, but a... Yes, good. <laughs> and they drove in great haste through the streets of Port Mosby, which is the capital of... New Guinea! New Guinea! <laughs> there must be a missionary here. <laughs> because she's rather and and her shirt exposed a bare midriff revealing not an Audi but an <laughs> where is he going with this? they both were wearing shirts featuring, featuring pictures of their favorite mouse his was Mickey and hers was she rolled down the window, and in the distance I could hear the dulcet sound of a horse's neighing. But nothing as joyous as the praise we're going to hear this morning from our special guest, Miss Owens, comma, I have ever uh, received in my entire existence. 